Good morning everyone and welcome to the vlog. So I'm sitting here doing my morning YouTube routine <laughs> and the girls are playing very nicely today. And Gabby has put a little backpack on Adeline, which is so stinking cute. Hey! What have you got on? Wow, we had a strawberry smoothie, didn't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Are you checking the froggy's teeth? Yeah, let me check the froggy's teeth. Good job, girls. So I'm looking for, for a recipe for an autoimmune paleo protocol sweet something. <laughs> because I had major, major cravings last night. Um, while I was up doing the finishing touches on the vlog and whatnot and normally I would have had like a cookie or something really bad full of sugar but obviously being on the autoimmune paleo protocol diet you can't have sugar and you can't have chocolate so yeah this is hard <laughs> Anyone that knows me personally will know that I'm a chocoholic and initially when we cut dairy for Gabby's allergy, um, I kind of struggled a little bit not being able to have milk chocolate because that was my favorite, my go-to. But then I adjusted to having dark chocolate and raw cacao in everything chocolate, which was different for me, but I eventually learned to love it and now I can't have anything chocolate so I will definitely be easing up on it myself I won't be as strict on it myself every now and then I will allow myself to have something that I want because it's yeah I don't have to justify why I'm going to do that but I'm not going to be as strict as what Gabby needs to be I'm going to look for a recipe for something sweet because I need something to get my cravings under control because <laughs> they're intense so if you guys have any recipes that are AIP friendly please let me know <laughs> that would be great so we've decided to come to my parents house and Jeepa is teaching the girls some skateboarding tips <laughs> Gabby's doing her best it's so cute Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These girls love their papa. So, as you probably saw, we ended up going to my mum's house uh, for the afternoon. Well, my mum and dad's house for the afternoon. Yeah, Gabby's saying, hey, she's in the shower at the moment. Both the girls are in the shower. Just chuck them in there. They've finished dinner. And I thought I would chat to you a bit about what has just happened. Um, so, I made a new dinner tonight. I made a, um AIP-friendly coconut chicken curry which was fantastic. It was delicious and I made cauliflower rice to go with it. It was delicious. Adeline smashed it down. Gabby initially liked it and then 
few mouthfuls in, she decided that no, it was bad. And then she started to flare really bad. All the way around here, all up here, around the back of her neck, and she started scratching like crazy. Now, that is the first sign of a reaction for Gabriella. Um, she continued to get irritated. I managed to calm her down. I'm not sure if it was the food or if it was because we went to Woolies before and she had her hands all over the trolley. I'm not sure. It could be either one. However, it was pretty coincidental that it had started after she'd started eating her dinner, which is a bit of a pain considering she's had everything that is in that dinner multiple times. Um, so I'm not sure what what went on. Yes, darling. I will in just a second, okay? So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, her skin is calming down a little bit. It might have even been the fact that it had a significant amount of lemon juice in it and the acidity just flared her eczema and irritated it. And I'm not sure if her bottom lip ended up swelling or not or because it's so hard to tell with Gabby. Her, her bottom lip, you may or may not have seen in our previous vlogs, it gets a very distinct... Uh, secondary pink line underneath it uh, every now and then and quick glance it looks like it's big and swollen but sometimes it's actually not um, but I didn't take notice of her lips before she started eating simply because I trusted that everything I put in the dinner was safe because she's eaten it multiple times so my brain is going like 10,000 miles an hour. I am going to have to keep a very, very close eye on her for the next 24 hours and hope that it's not going to progress any further than what it, the stage that it's at now. Just, I don't know how to feel because as I said, it's everything that she's eaten. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's just a lemon juice. So that is that. That has been past hour and a bit. So I just thought I would just let you know what's been going on with that. Um, also wanted to add that I haven't really vlogged that much today because I'm pretty sure I'm going through withdrawals from starting the AIP diet myself. I've felt like absolute crapola. So... That hasn't been the nicest thing. Um, I'm you okay? Okay. I'm pretty sure it's the lack of um, processed sugars <laughs> that is doing it to me, and probably um, the no grains either. So I've been feeling really crappy, and yeah, I just I'm at a crossroads now where do I fulfil my cravings? and get that little bit of relief from these horrible withdrawals to keep me going through these next few days because I have to be a mum, I can't just slack off. Gab, please don't scratch, darling. And I know that is a really crappy excuse, but oh, I just feel so, so bad. So that is that. That has been my day. That has been Gabby's night. Adeline loved dinner. She had two bowls. Gabby, yeah. please don't. She's scratching like crazy at the moment. As I was saying, Adeline loved her dinner and I'm very glad that she did. I just hope that Gabby wasn't reacting. So we'll see how we go. I think Dave's just pulled in. Bit of a late one today, so... I'm glad that he's home to help me monitor Gab now. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog for now. I would like to go to bed early again tonight because that was fantastic. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry today's vlog isn't happy and positive and cheery as it um, could have been. But this was our day and I want to keep it as real as possible with you. Especially about Gabby's allergies and what it's like living with them so 
give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed that aspect of our vlog <laughs> and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you would like to follow our journey and we'll see you all tomorrow guys thank you so much for watching bye